Uh, people are like, I say, wait, I push record. All right, go ahead. My name is Brian Eady, and I am the director and producer of the film. And my name is Dustin Booth, B-O-O-T-H, and I'm executive producer. And? And lead actor, sorry. Gosh, I always forget that. That's the problem. God. Dustin and I met almost a year ago. Um, I was uh, preparing to shoot a concept piece on Paul Revere out in Boston in May, and he was the person that we cast for our Paul Revere. So, the tallest, skinniest Paul Revere. Yeah, uh, uh, tallest, skinniest Paul Revere in history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, as opposed to the only Paul Revere. But <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's where we met, and then we shot that out in May, and then um, it's just kind of, uh, we enjoyed working together for the most part. <laughs> yeah. A reverse roundhouse. So it's just awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. The story begins yeah. that 15 years ago, this mysterious illness entered into this town of Clear Lake, and nobody knew what was causing it, but people were starting to die. Within that, there was this kind of self-ordained preacher who took it upon himself to say, this is caused by the sin of the people. That's what's causing this illness. So he used his charisma to kind of rally up this group of high school kids, which he ordained as warriors, to kidnap the people that were on his list, and then he ended up killing them. 15 years later, this documentarian out of Minneapolis gets wind that there's more to this story. So she was able to kind of talk a group of these kind of former students in to returning and kind of telling their story. So we open up with this group kind of meeting together for the first time in 15 years, coming back to Clear Lake, which is now still a ghost town, and uh, kind of bad things ensue. Action. <laughs> The, uh, this one was unique because we fell in love with the kind of the place before there was ever a story. So we w went back to LA and said, you know what? Okay, here are the locations that we want to use and here's what's interesting about them. Now let's start writing a story that kind of encompasses them. We knew that it, it for it to be a ghost town, it um, and evacuated, it needed to be bleak, it needed to look kind of untouched. We've gone through an enormous amount of of challenges since we got here that, you know, originally there was going to be no snow and then it starts snowing the day after we got here. So it it also kind of brought the, its own sense of kind of environment to it. And the cold did the same thing, that you bring a bunch of actors to an environment that's negative 10 degrees, they can't help but be cold and that becomes another character. Softest of I all. Am and he's the local I one. I am from so here. So whiny. I was never cold oh my God. one time. Yeah. Well, watch, we'll show you footage afterwards. We'll oh, don't true. you show it. Yeah. Well, being that he's from Iowa originally, and me being from Clear Lake, um, we just wanted to bring something back here to the Midwest and give some opportunity to some people around here in the area. Yeah, so we have a lot of high school interns that, that we yeah. kind of created positions for so they could experience what it's like. Because, you know, growing up in Iowa, there were no opportunities for things like this. There are very few of them, so... Nor it, here. <laughs> I yeah. can imagine. Not so much. Um, so it was, it was always very important to kind of bring those things uh, those opportunities back, so it's it's been nice.